happy Halloween, everyone! Hi! I hope that you're having a good Halloween. Um, I'm a mix of things today. I don't have an actual costume for you. But I thought this hat was very appropriate. And also this shirt. So <laughs> that's what I have. Um, so, yeah, uh, I think last Monday I said that we'd, we'd be back this week for sure, because I had to cancel last week. And I said we'd be back with missed because I wasn't thinking. Uh, I'm dressed up as a guy in a hat. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I didn't. I, I also I was going to put on my bracers and clearly I forgot to do that. And I failed at Halloween costuming this year. <laughs> it's OK. I have the same plans for next year that I've had for the past three years, so eventually they will come to pass. And you'll probably get to see them. But, um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so yeah, uh, it, it being Halloween and all. See, last year, for Halloween time, I think we were playing Mansions of Madness on Mondays. Um, and then we started... Evil Dead, A Fistful of Boomstick, and played that for a long time. Um, this year, like, Mist 3 is not exactly a horror or, like, spooky sort of game. So I wanted to do something for Halloween, and I've played Alien Isolation a couple of times on stream, and I have never played it off stream, so we're going to pick up where I left off. And I want to say that may have been, I don't know what, like 18 months ago, I would have to check when, when did the stream punks do their prior alien game? The one that the people at Free League ran for them. Because that's the last time I played Isolation. Your Halloween costume is someone who has all their ducks in a row. Excellent costume. I think today my Halloween costume was a professional who's not getting an ear infection, except that because the real me is, um, I'm fairly certain double ear infection. I have a doctor's appointment Thursday. <clears throat> IRLU is a bit of a hot mess, but you do have pumpkin chocolate chip bread. That sounds really good. Hmm. I just have three musketeers and and um, Milky Way bars <laughs> that I will not be giving out to children. They are for me. Um, uh, I was just going to look because I don't know. I don't even know if it's on the wiki. Um. I, I, I don't know. Adventures of Tony! Hello! Happy Halloween! Although, I think it might be, um, uh, it might be November 1st for you, but, uh, thank you for the 22 on 3 subscription. It's so good to see you. Um, it, it is apparently a spooky double ear infection, indeed. May 13, 2020 is when the VOD uploaded to YouTube for the last Alien game. So, yeah, uh, it's 2020. Oh, gosh. So it's been a long while since I last played this game. Oh, oh, that's a that's a wow. Uh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> oh, it's November 1st, where you are, Detective Zen, as well. I honestly have no idea where you are, um, but I hadn't realized that you're also uh, a day ahead. Spooky ghoul to spooky ghoul COVID isolation. Oh, no. Oh, some silica. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, hopefully... Hopefully you continue to test negative. Uh, 
But yeah, so uh, the plan tonight is I am going to attempt not to die while playing Alien Isolation, um, a game which I apparently have not played for many, many months. Uh, what? Gosh. Uh, I can't do the math. Yeah, like 19 months, 18 months. So, wow, I, I estimated properly. <clears throat> Your mom tested negative. You're both battling a bug. Yeah. Oh, Australia. Okay. <laughs> One public holiday where the entire state takes a day off to obsess over a horse race. It has a more concise title. Oh, dear. Yes. Um, yes, Tony. Uh, that was uh, the birthday present that I got from my husband was a hat rack to, so you could see hats. Oh, uh, eventually, when we finally get around to it, um, this room is going to swap with the the other room. Um, so I'll be able to have a wall behind me. Um, and once that happens, then I'll have the hat rack and hopefully some shelving or pegs on the wall or something to, to display uh, some more of the hats. I just I don't know yet. Um, and we'll also see because that'll give me some more lighting options and I don't know yet. I may end up taking the screen that's behind me um, and putting sound paneling on it and sticking it in front of me to, to make the room less live and hopefully improve the audio quality. I have plans, but they're all long term with like low investment as much as possible. Anyway, uh, the plan tonight is, like I said, we're going to play Alien Isolation and hopefully I won't die while I try to remember the controls. And then, um, oh, you had to go to the ER, gosh, for so not appendicitis. That's good. OK, well, I'm glad the clean bill of health. Hopefully whatever discomfort you were having also cleared up. Um, yeah. And at the end of stream today, we will, of course, raid over to Q Times for the stream punks. <laughs> Shadows, thank you for the nine bits. <laughs> I love the the little graveyard bits. Those are awesome. Where's the fun in not dying while trying to relearn controls? Exactly. Yeah. I don't remember if I played keyboard and mouse or controller. I have both of them here ready to go. Um, and then after, yeah, afterwards, we'll, we'll raid the stream punks for, for bacon, beacon. I, I was trying to say it right, and it still came out bacon. Um, we will raid the stream punks for bacon, beacon. Um, they're, <laughs> they're alien RPG actual play um, in just a little bit here. And then, um, and then, Wednesday, I have the archive stream, uh, Saturday, Ultima 6, and Sunday, Mass Effect. And then Monday, next Monday, we will we will pick up with Mist 3 again and attempt to make progress in that game. I don't know if we'll end up playing the entire thing on stream. Uh, we'll just see how it goes. It's contrary to the spirit of Alien Isolation, I see. You don't think Sam would be doing anything involving bacon? Except for constantly calling um, their current show bacon? Because I got it from from them. Um, <clears throat> OK, I think that I have the Stream Deck buttons all set up to work properly with this game. I did all of that in like the last half hour before I went live. So we'll see. Um, but I'm going to try and switch us over to the game. Let me 
turn on the game volume, and push the button. And you should have game sounds, zounds, game zounds, um, hopefully. Hopefully you can hear the game and still hear me. Um, that would be preferable. Um, <laughs> sound and visual, yay! I have no idea if, if where I am in this box is the proper place. Because uh, I don't remember where UI elements are on the screen. So if I have to move me, then I'll move me. Um, also, there are content warnings for this game. Um, Woohoo! Buttons that work and do the things that they're supposed to do. I don't know who set this up, but it clearly wasn't me. Oh, there's my costume. A competent streamer. Uh... <laughs> Let's see, I think it wasn't you. Isolation. I'm going to l click on load rather than continue. Or oh, maybe I could just do continue, I suppose. <laughs> May contain aliens and possible isolation. Indeed, distractions can sometimes attract a deadlier threat. Working Joes are rudimentary androids. Sevastopol's transit system is the fastest. Oh, here we are at the, the payphone save point. I could try to make it darker around me, but um, I chose not to. But I could, I could do like, But then I see it's the backlighting that that I would want to go away, which I forgot to turn on yesterday. Um, but see, now you're just getting the red gel and the blue gel. Hi, Hannah. Welcome in. I'm delaying because um, I have not played this game in 19 months. And I have no idea how it works anymore. Oh, God. Oh, yes, there is a person here. <clears throat> what are my current objectives? I have two flares. That's good to know. Honey puns do not go well with alien isolation. What do you mean? Um. Um. Is there an inventory? Oh, there's a map. Sevastopol Spaceflight Terminal Freight Shipping. We're up here. There's a power generator, a cargo hangar, two save points, two X's that I don't know what are, uh, locked doors, and a point of interest. Objective, escape with Axel. Continue with Axel to the transit station. Mm-hmm. Most of this stuff, like I think that floor we already knew about. I, I don't know. I do not know. I don't remember. I'm going to just explore, I guess. Because. How much further? No! I probably should not have done that. Uh, you could say that. I don't know how to crouch. One of these buttons should probably make me crouch, huh? Hang on. I did grab... As on, a, on the internet, there's a manual that shows me, or tells me what things, what the buttons are. Button 10, crouches. Oh, okay, and I can sprint. That's good to know. 
All right. I didn't mean to light the flare. That was just sort of a thing that happened. Um, but we'll deal with it. I can always reload if I need to, right? Okay. <clears throat> Crouch. Interesting. I'm pushing the button that's supposed to be for peeking and it's not doing that, but okay, whatever. I'll figure it out. Lighting a flare on a spaceship is always a solid choice. No notes. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate the um, encouragement. You know, I don't know about you. It does feel too bright in here. Give me one second. Trying to blast a hole through the hull to let air in. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. See, what I need is I need remote controlled lights. I need remote controlled lights so that then I could do these sorts of adjustments without having to get up at all. I do need a little white light. Um, otherwise, I'm just red and blue. But I can't even turn those down, too. This is all, all new. In the actual room? Yes, no, no, I meant me. It, here in the room, it seemed a little bit too bright to go with the game. And part of it is the my computer monitors are too bright. I don't know that I can get those fixed right now, but it just seems too bright, right? Anyway, I'm being silly, aren't I? You just lit a flare, that's why it's too bright. Yes, yes. Because I don't think there's any way I can adjust the brightness on these monitors in Windows. I think it's just the buttons. It does look better now, yeah. Had I really thought about it before stream, but it would require me to shift the monitor, which would move the camera, because I can't actually reach the buttons on the main monitor to darken the, the screen itself. Um, but like, you might say that lighting the flare was a bad idea? Why would you say that? Oh, fuck. Yes, this is that section that I could not ever get through. Um, this is bad. I really did not want to light this flare. Cause, cause I'm a dead. I, I don't know how to get rid of the flare either. I have too much flare. Hit them, hit them with the flare. Why won't it let me hit them with the flare? No, I just used a fla another flare. I, you know, I, I think we knew I was gonna die. Hey, look, these people have faces. I've never seen their faces before. Why are you shooting me? I'm just a person. You're really mean. Ooh, I will, I will attempt that then. Um, Puddle Glum, because I think that even darker would be appropriate. Um, You try to turn your, down your light, but it's 10.25 a.m. I could go to night light, but I don't want that. I just want brightness, brightness, brightness. Uh, changing screen brightness. Whoa. It's 
says in the action center. I don't have a slider for it. Oh, you know, I think it's because uh, that is something you can do on a laptop. I've looked at this before. It's something you can do on a laptop, but not on um, external monitors for a desktop. But if you give me a second, I'm just going to lean in and you can look real close at my face here or at my hat. Uh. No, I wanted a different one. Ooh, that one might <laughs> hat. Um, well, oh, geez, well, oh, geez, there we go. That's the control I want right there. Um, wow, this is not easy, y'all. Oh. Because <laughs> the buttons are not on the bottom. They're on the right-hand side. Oh, geez. I, I, let me do this one now, too. Um... That was silly. Uh, come on. No. Ah. They really, it should be so much easier to do this. There, I put my monitors to 50% brightness. So now I'm in a darker room. <laughs> you hope there are ads for hats? Oh, my hat triggered ads. Um, interestingly, the ads I have set up on a schedule now, and that schedule uh, is the least number of ads I can possibly show, according to all the information that I have. Um, at least... It, it's every half hour, it's p playing one minute and 30 seconds of ads, um, which means nobody ever has pre-roll ads when they show up. Uh, so you shouldn't be getting any ads when you first arrive. Um, and then, uh, yeah, also, so if, if it is really disruptive, if it's not doable, let me know. Because um, I, I don't know. <clears throat> um, this schedule is also supposed to give me an, a, a part of the revenue of the ads, which previously the amount I was getting really wasn't worth it. I honestly don't think it's worth it now. I would shut them off entirely if I could, but I can't. Uh, <laughs> so this gives me a little bit more of the revenue from it and is supposed to end up showing less ads overall. I just don't know if that's true. Uh, so I thought I would try it. We'll see what happens. It should be another half hour before you get any more, and then it should just be a minute and a half. If I could um, just do the ads that like show up as banners and like don't like get rid of the stream, like the stream shifts up a tiny bit and there's a banner under it, I would opt for those, but I don't have control over that. <laughs> Bruce Banners. All right. Escape with Axel. I do not want the flare yet. Oh gosh, I remember this part. Are we sure I never got past this part? What if I cl click on load? Oh, I don't have any. I honestly thought I had made it through the wilderness. Very angry banners. How did I get the map? Wait, I think... What's this direction? Is this maybe where I'm supposed to go? I really feel like we made it past that room full of people that were shooting at us. 
How much further? Nearly there. Transit's just up ahead. I was going the wrong way. But I don't have any weapons. Sebastopol, not quite what you're expecting, eh? I'm not even supposed to be here. My shipping out papers were for a week ago. It's powered down. The assholes have cut us off. Got it. We need to activate both consoles at the same time to open it. I'll do this one. You go to the oh, yeah. side. Okay. I remember this. Uh, you'll do this one. Great, thanks. What was that? That sounded like creaky metal. Oh, this is this is going to be bad. I even remember this part now. Oh, oh dear. I don't want to do it. Ready. On 3. 1 2 3. I tried pushing it. Axel, be Behind you! you. Uh, 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 uh. Fuck you! Get here now! I've got the thieving son of a bitch! You bums think you can take what you want? Get the fuck up! Uh. <laughs> uh. Fuck. <laughs> Let's go. The others are on their way. We need to go! No! Yeah, we do! Move it! Shoot him! Shit, I think he's dead. They killed him. Come on! You killed that guy! Because he was going to kill me, you saved my life. This is about survival. Uh, inappropriate touching. Do you understand? You're standing in a pool of blood. I hear something. Axel? Have I got on me? Uh. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. I need to go to my right. This way? Had my axle removed. Oh, I have the spanner thingy, don't I? I was like, what am I? Uh, the door's locked. You're gonna make me crawl through something, aren't you? Also, what is knocking? Who is knocking? That that's not good. It's it's not Morse code. Unless they're spelling out some word I'm that isn't SOS. Shh. What is knocking is... Um... Frack. I don't want to go back in here. That was where that thing came out and grabbed Axel. Um, interestingly, <laughs> as an aside, this station that we are on, I believe, um, this is a Seekson station, and so is the one that the Streampunks are playing in, on, in their actual play, where, where we'll be going once it is 
not me that's being scared anymore. Um. <laughs> I'd say you better knock on wood, but it seems like you're mostly surrounded by metal. Yeah. I don't think this is the right way. Isn't this back to where I just ran from? Maybe this is. Oh, I know I'm uncovering new map as I go, so this must be the right way. Oh, crap. I do not want to turn on the light. I don't remember how to turn on the light, so that's... <laughs> this place is so full of shadows. But not much life. Seeks and tomorrow together. An urgent package. We don't forget the little details when seeing the big picture. Um, they clearly... All right, now I have to look for little details in this picture just because. Yeah, Shadows is right here in chat. I just... I'm curious because it would be a cute little thing if, if they did it. But I don't see it anywhere. I had just, you know, a thought of, of might have been like a programmer's joke or something. We don't forget the little details when seeing the big picture um, that they may have snuck a, a xenomorph into the painting somewhere, but <clears throat> they didn't. Curiosity didn't kill the xenomorph. Oh, shnikes! I forgot that my batteries were going to run out if I turned on the light for too long. I'm silly. This is this is me making the game harder by only playing it once every 18 months. I cannot see what's around me. Uh, what happened? Weren't there? What? I'm confused. I have a confuse. Did I go into something? Because for a moment there, I was turning all around and could not see anything at all, and that was bizarre. I don't want to go this way. What's a schnikey? I don't know. I, it, that is a thing I have said long as I can remember, and I have no idea what it means other than, like, it's not me saying shit. Lauren's system, or Lauren's sister, I can't speak. Lauren's sister spire is the, apparently the destination of uh, this tramway. Towerlink. Oh, wait, so this this takes me to a different spire of the station? How do I get through? Oh, dear. Hi. D. I would like to. Hi. D. <laughs> Um, I keep going through the turnstiles, and whew. uh, why is that light flashing now? It wh was it flashing before? It's a fluorescent sneaker. No, that's me. I'm a fluorescent sneaker. All right. I don't think sneaking around and hiding in the shadows will actually help me against xenomorphs, but this is what I am doing. This is very atmospheric, and I'm very glad that I lowered the lights. I have to 
find the right shadows. Oh dear. Wait, is this... Isn't this where I just was? Did I just go in a circle? I did. <laughs> um. Okay. So we've got this direction. And we've got in there. <clears throat> Neither of which I seem able to open at the moment. There's also a hall here that I don't seem, I don't even have on the map. I'm afraid to light the thing, but I think I have to. Round and round we go. Where we stop. We know because we started there. No! All right. Bright lights. Big city. Everyone's responsible for safety. That's how you throw it? Oh, gosh. That's what I wanted to do before. Transit hub turnstile, here I am. Power when I need it. Um, yes, please. I would very much like a Muller and Milland uh, nail gun. That seems super useful at the moment. Locked door. There's a trash can with a ashtray on top. Uh, it is the alien universe. I suppose ashtrays would be appropriate. <laughs> Who advertises a nail gun at a transport terminal? Apparently, Muller and Milland. I don't know how to activate these doors. Um. Call transit! I wish I could put this flare out, but I do not know how to do so. Thank you. This isn't Waylon Yutani, this is Seekson. Isn't it? Hi, Detective Zen. Hey, honey, I was commuting home today and saw this ad. You know what I really need? A nail gun. Maybe two of them. Yeah, no, this, this is a Siegson station, um, which, as I mentioned, is is the same. Um, I, I don't want. There. <clears throat> it's the same. Um, company, the, the same company owns this transit terminal as uh, the company that built the station uh, that the Streampunks are playing on in... Fuck! Shit! No! God damn it! No! Well... Don't try to unrun, don't try to outrun the alien, you won't make it. Um. Farkle. Oh, well. Oh, we're all the way back here. 
Crikey. That's fine. We know this part. How much further? Nearly there. Transit's just up ahead. Let's just hope your ship's still there. Sebastian, we're not quite what you're expecting, eh? Uh, you could say that. I'm not even supposed to be here. My shipping out papers were for a week ago. It's powered down. The assholes have cut us off. Got it. We need to activate both consoles at the same time to open it. I'll do this while you go to the one on the other side. Okay. Mm-hmm. Definitely um, comfortable with using the, the game pad for this. Ready. <clears throat> on three. One, two, three. Come on. Axel, behind you. Fuck you. Get here now. I've got the thieving son of a bitch. Just save Axel. <laughs> Who has the gun? Fuck. Let's go. The others are on their way. Which means the xenomorph ends up we with the gun. Go. No! Hey, you bastard! Move it! Shoot him! Shit, I think he's dead. They killed him. Come on! <clears throat> you killed that guy! Because he was going to kill me, you saved my life. This is about survival. Do you understand? I do. But I don't think you're going to survive. I hear something. Excellent. <laughs> um, Detective Zen, there are definitely children on the station. They are xenomorph children, but they are children. <laughs> <clears throat> what the hell was that thing? Reach the transit station. I keep moving. Totally, totally doable. Yep, see here? There's a transit station. We have arrived at said transit station. I can't hide in this lovely sealed room here. Instead, I have to call the tram. Um, fuck. I don't know if I'm supposed to get on it when it arrives. I hide will the xenomorph find me probably I'm watching. Where is it coming from and how long does it take to get here? Or is it just not going to show up until I get on the tram? What was that? Well, it seems, seems all clear. Maybe it was just last time. Maybe there won't be a xenomorph this time. Or 
Maybe if I'm super sneaky stealthy, it won't know I'm here. Oh, wow. How do I make the tram go if I get on it? <gasps> Maybe you should talk to HR about the, ho the hostile work environment. <laughs> Please, please, save point, save point. I, I, I would like a save point, please. I would like some gear. I would like anything. Um. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. There's nowhere to hide. Fun. Station serving seeks and communication technologies, tech support services, and Gemini Exoplanet Solutions. Oh god, I am so gonna die, aren't I? I don't see any save points! Get to communications. Systech Spire houses seeks in communications. Find a way to get in there. Dang it. Please, I'm a little scared at the moment. No, no, I, 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 I wanted to be in there. Thank you. Cause I have a, I have a like a concern that I should be hiding at the moment. Cause the train tram just arrived, right? I should hide. The Viticom, sadly, not a save point. Oh, oh dear. I suppose I can't stay in here all night, can I? I'm trying to read what the notes say. Order s more of something. Okay. I could if I wanted to. You say that just as I exit it. You're supposed to be a save point. Why are you broken? Rewire system. To rewire, or use rewire to toggle systems on and off in your surrounding area. Systems share a limited power supply. Switching systems off will provide the power to switch others on. Study the map on the right hand screen with the RS, <coughs> right stick I suppose, to check the position of local systems. Access new areas, create diversions, and experiment with Sevastopol systems to help achieve your goal. Oh dear. Um. Uh. Unstable system. Speaker system. Huh. 
Interesting. I don't really know what I'm doing. No idea. I, I, I gave power to the unstable system. Uh, all right, we have the Lawrence Sistec Lobby. Ooh, is this a save point? Save game, save game! Yes? All right. We go to the lobby. Do we think comms is going to be in the lobby? And oh, but whatever's over there, we just did power with. Space flight terminal. Engineering platform. Hab tower. Hello? <laughs> Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. It has ourselves a snack. Sorry. I had to. I don't know. Uh, oh dear, there's a door and it has power and I'm scared. No weapons allowed. That seems inadvisable at, at this juncture. That door will open. Speaking of snacks, you're eating dinner? Nothing startling or spooky is allowed <laughs> until you're done. Um, well, uh, this game Not sure how well I can predict that. Ah, no, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but, but what if I had that? I had a nail gunner too. Yeah, that would be good. Oh, and a hat trick. Okay. <gasps> Oh, stretch. Thank you. Oh, and, and I'm trying to do the. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, any hat. Okay. Okay. Oh my. <sighs> um. Trying to think what would be appropriate for the game, and I don't know that I have anything. But <sighs> this one just feels like it belongs in a horror movie, so I'm gonna put it on. <laughs> Maybe not this horror movie, but possibly this horror movie. Anyway, uh, thank you for the hat trick. <laughs> and I, I will also hydrate. I did, I did see all of the, the self cares. Apparently I forgot to turn music on when I went back to full face, but it's okay.
Yeah. Looks like it belongs in a Stephen King horror story of some description. I agree. Um, this hat uh, was part of a costume that <clears throat> my husband wore when he went to a family reunion up in Pennsylvania, and they had to dress as Quakers. Um, the same hat, but it spent more time on the pottery wheel. <laughs> And so, uh, after he was done with it, he gave it to me to add to the hat collection. <laughs> um, and yeah, it, it feels to me like a horror movie hat. So, okay. I'm so scared of the, the, the gay, gay game. And me saying it that way, I it made me think of Max Headroom for some reason. I, oh gosh, I don't think I need to go through there though, because that door is unlocked. Oh gosh, such sounds, many scare. Shit, 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 shit. Stay away. <laughs> Take the elevator up to Seeks in Communications. Um, I heard a voice. Fuck! Shit! Guys! Over here! Someone's here! Fuck! Oh crap. I'm gonna die again! Why can't this be Mass Effect? I would have a gun! There was like a... And magic, yeah! Fuck. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna take all of that stuff. And this ID tag, and whatever's in here. Uh huh, I'm taking it all. No. Item maxed. I can't max my scrap. I'm a scrappy person. Oh dear. Yeah, play it. Come on. Marie, listen to me very carefully. I want you to leave work now. Collect Claire, pick up the cat, and head home. We need to find some place safe till Seeks and send a ship. I saw the guy from down the hall. I can't remember his name. The one in the dirty baseball cap, weird smell. He had something in his coat. I think it was a gun. He just looked right through me. Don't talk to anyone. Don't tell them where you're going. I'll meet you as soon as I can. Dirty baseball cap had a gun. Um, somebody shot at me when I got here. I'm, where did they go? I'm so scared of 
all of the things. Something's gonna jump out at me. And it's gonna scare my pants off. Something's gonna jump out at me. I enjoy horror movies. Horror games are a bit more stressful. Can I do anything with all of this scrap that I have? Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's that one? <clears throat> oh, that one has a code on it. Please do not lose your pants in fear. We don't have a protocol for that. Oh dear. Kill the power, kill the power, kill the power, kill the power. So horror movies, I can cover my face. Horror games, I have to keep my hands on the controller. Um, what is Apollo? <laughs> the minimal amount of clothes you're allowed to lose in fear? Um, I don't know. Huh. Uh, I got distracted. A Fielding, personnel log, A Hutchinson, Hutchinson, and Z Watson. Look at all these personnel logs I have not found. I have the A, two A's and a Z. <laughs> oh. I don't, ooh, left button to build? Hi, Be Right UK! Thank you for the 500 bits! <laughs> the last power coupling. We knew Eric and Jenny were this game. Oh, that's hilarious. Um. Oh, I, f I found the crafting menu. I forgot all about the fact that there even was a crafting menu. Um. No. Oh. I am bad at doing the things. Do I not have what I need to build the medikit? Commit component. Success! I built a med kit. I don't know how to build anything else. But I built a med kit. I don't have enough um, bonding agent to build any more med kits. Um, but now I can get some of the scrap. Apparently you can build lightsabers. Well, I mean, that's what the Jedi do, right? They build their own lightsabers. No signal. Caution, wet floor. I assume it says the same in um, whichever form of writing that is. I do not know if that is kanji or if that is Chinese, Mandarin, or like, I, don't, I don't know the different character forms. What just happened? Did, 
did you just hear again or or did we just get a, a repeat alert? You cheered another 500 bits? How many units of bonding agent do you need? 007? Oh gosh. v UK, thank you so much for the bits. <laughs> it, it was startling, but thankfully not super scary. I'm afraid that I'm going to get shot if I stand up. It's, it, it did look like Japanese to me as well. I'm just not really familiar with the different ones, but it looks Japanese to me. I feel like that would make sense uh, within the context of the game world. My brain reads this as caution, wet floor, and then assumes that the other portion of it will say piso mojado, uh, which <laughs> is <laughs> because it's always English and Spanish here. Piso mojado. I, I, you know, I don't actually know how to say the words that appear on the wet floor sign, but staff access only. Well, we'll see about that, won't we? You're done with dinner? Spook, spooks can recommence. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having, I think I mentioned at the beginning that I think I am coming down with a double ear infection and um, that causes weird sinus changes, which can cause yawning. An access to you. She was trying to hack the elevator security. Circuits are fried. Easy fix. Nice. Find a new data cell. Find a data cell. Um, but, but, please, take the wrench. Take the wrench, any of the wrenches, or the hammer. All of those could be useful. Pick them up, take them, and use them as a weapon. Aww. Internet confirms it is Japanese. There's more kanji on the door sign. Um, no, thank you. How about no? This way. She was downstairs. Is that one of you? Damn it. It was nothing, guys. <laughs> Pedagram, it is, it's a thing that happens for me. I'm so dead. They are going to find me. What was that? Yep. Oh, Shit. I thought maybe. I don't, I don't think it worked either. What is a mission save? No. Lawrence Sistek Spire, October 31st at 7.54 or 58. <clears throat> All right, um, grand. Find an elevator. We found the elevator. Elevator go down the hall. Um, and then we went up those stairs and that was where that was all happening. What's the other direction? Oh, the other direction's probably the other faction, otherwise known as the Xenomorphs. We'll see. Workplace Solutions. Let's head upstairs to Workplace Solutions. It'll have the solution to our problems. 
Internet confirms Weyland Yutani is a British. Oh, yeah, no, I knew Weyland Yutani was, but we're on a Siegson station. And I don't know anything really about Siegson as far as nationality. I also don't know what company would be um, manufacturing things like wet floor signs. Oh, apparently I need the security access tuner here. Um, but presumably, uh, with Wayland yutani being so heavily involved in the um, realm of space, They presumably are, are lots of like Japanese uh, is probably present. I don't know what the sensor does. Is that just a but I have enough to build a thing, so I build a thing. Med kit constructed. Huzzah! Um. <laughs> it's so violent getting in there. Fix aircon. No idea. On your way back to Thetis, toast your return with Davenport Rye. Davenport Rye, you've traveled far, worked hard, and now you're returning home. You're looking forward to seeing your family and sleeping in your own bed. But, there's one pleasure you never have to wait for. It's time to reward yourself with the crisp, distinctive taste of Davenport rye. Sorry, until the day you learn from your, you learn your AirPods don't have great range. Oh, it said Thetis. Tranquility to sleep. Her chance to dream, but will you ever wake up? You've got that important presentation to the boss tomorrow, the one you've been working on for months. This could be it. You need to be at your very best, but the excitement is making it hard to sleep. Take a tranquility pill half an hour before bedtime, and you'll float right off. You'll awake refreshed and revitalized. Then you can work on fulfilling your dreams on your new Wayland yutani colony world. Sorry. <laughs> Will you ever wake up? <laughs> um, that wasn't actually there. I added that part. <laughs> uh. Oh, we got another Davenport Rye ad here with uh, a smoker who's got an eye patch and a tuxedo. Here's to adventure. Or maybe misadventure in your case. Sorry. Uh, join the journey. A wealth of new career opportunities awaits you. Come and join the Siegson family today. Siegson. Tomorrow. Together. Ugh. Scary. Wow, look at the computer! Arios Computers. Take the office home with you. No, thank you. But that's like an Apple II. <laughs> yeah, Thetis is the name of the Dragon Age world. But I think it's... 
Is it not the name of a celestial body in our solar system? Is there not a moon called Thetis? Problems? Take some time out with an old friend. Light up and enjoy the rich, comfortingly familiar taste of... Coorlander Gold. I mean... I suppose if we're gonna die anyway... What does it matter? The Surgeon General has declared or determined that cigarette smoking may be dangerous to your health. Apollo. Guiding our synthetics, ensuring your safety. Apollo. Yay. Well, that was a lovely interlude that was completely xenomorph free, which I, I, I generally like. Um, uh, I was going to check and see if Thetis is a moon. Why don't we fill our limited airspace space with smoke? Indeed, that's... Um, I mean, it's smoking on space vessels makes perfect sense, right? Uh, I'm trying to delay the um, the more more scaries at the moment. No. Hmm. There's stuff about a place, or I mean, I, everything that comes up is, is Mass Effect, and so maybe there's not. But it is interesting that it, that, that name shows up here in this game then, because I don't I, I don't know enough about... Ooh! In the Xenopedia, Thetis. Uh, it's spelled differently. T-H-E-D-U-S. So, uh, Thetis or Thetis. I don't know. <clears throat> it's in the far reach of the American arm. In the Epsilon Reticuli system. Which is a binary system. It's a terrestrial world with mountains and canyons. Breathable air. Cold, thin atmosphere. Oh, be right, UK, thank you so much for 500 more bits! Last one, probably. Why could it not have been a Buddhist space station? Xenomorphs sounds... Don't sound anything like as bad. Oh, that's excellent. Um, yeah, Xenomorphs. That would be a really chill stream, wouldn't it? That'd be awesome. Oh, my. There's a body. Um, hello? How did you die? Do you have anything I need? Flashlight batteries, scrap, and a frickin' med kit! I'll take it. Thank you for your stuffs. Uh... I don't remember how to do. Why do we just set that to the side? That could be a freaking great weapon. I guess it's we set it to the side because we don't have great weapon master as a feat. You always know a working Joe. Your Working Joe synthetics are built here at Siegson. Or, er, er, sorry, the Working Joe's synthetics we build here at Siegson are designed to look and act like synthetics. You can work without anxiety knowing exactly who and what your coworkers are. I don't think we've encountered any Working Joes yet. All of my working Joe encounters have been in um, Fireteam Elite. 
square, I get to shoot them. Want to join the Colonial Marshals? Help us make our corner of the galaxy a safer place to live, work, travel. Okay. But can you come here and take care of these people who are going to kill me? Beware of bag theft. I am saving. Because I collected some things this time around that I would rather not lose. Oh gosh, now I have to go up there again where they're gonna shoot at me. I'd rather be shot at than, um, attacked by a xenomorph. I'd much rather be shot at. Plasma torch required. I don't have one. Mm. Oh, map. Okay. What if I, what if I have forgotten exactly where everything is? Right, so through there, that is where the evil people were that were shooting me. I can't get in here yet. No weapons allowed through the metal detectors. Um, I guess we pay for the door lock this way. I had changed a power thing before. Don't, don't run. Running makes noise and attracts attention. I do not wish to do that. Hey. Rewire panel. Let us, um, I don't, I don't actually know how to make this thing work. Ooh, oh-ho, speaker system. Okay. Oh, the unstable system is here. Speaker system is there. There's a layout grid of some sort. Not really useful to me, but okay. Last time we went up there and they were shooting at us, it was the unstable system that was activated. So this time, we'll go up and it will be the um, speaker system that's activated. Yeah? No idea. I don't know if it will make any difference at all. Because I don't really know what I'm changing. Oh, this is a scary place to be. Yes, this is a scary place for me. I don't want the xenomorphs to show. Please don't kill me as I wander around. I'm doing things differently, but this seems really scary. Nikes. I know on the map where this goes, but also like, yeah. 
get, get, get me out of there. <sighs> I don't even have claustrophobia, and that was claustrophobic. And I'm sitting in a freaking room. I would rather her not even notice me and, like, not shoot at me. That would be grand. Okay. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh. Pooh Bear does not like this. I, d I don't know why I said that because I am not and never have thought of myself as a Pooh Bear. But, um. Ray, listen to me very carefully. I want you to leave work now. Collect Claire, pick up the cat, and head home. We need to find some place safe till season sent a ship. God. I saw the guy from down the hall. Yeah, I can't remember his name. The one in the dirty baseball cap and weird smell. She was he had something in his coat. I think it was a gun. Circuits are fried. He just looked right fine. through me. Just don't talk to anyone. Don't tell them where you're going. I'll meet you as soon as I can. Do you really have to do that? This way. She was downstairs. See anything yet? Shit. I don't like. Come on, give me a locker to hide in. Please? I'm dead. <laughs> I'm not surprised that I'm dead, but also, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <sighs> this is me even running from a xenomorph. Most of the difficult times I've had in this game have been stupid people shooting at me. Give me a gun. <laughs> that, that, that would make this game so much easier if I had a freaking gun. And was Shepard for Mass Effect, but you know. All right, let's think about this. If I go into the lobby, they will shoot at me, um, then go and get more people to come and shoot at me. Wait. 
One of them is in the room above me. Just tell the xenomorphs that you have to go, yeah. Oh, give me a gun to make this game fun and blow all the bad guys away. I, I, yeah. I, my brain is not catching which tune you're going for because, um, my brain has insisted that give me a gun, uh, goes to the tune of, uh, leave me alone from Sideshow the musical. Um. Farkle. They're just gonna shoot at me. Hi. If if I hide back here, will they eventually go away? I think it's a proximity trigger, and as soon as I get far enough far enough up the stairs, no matter what I do it triggers that encounter. <laughs> oh. oh, give me a gun to make this game oh, fun. Oh, oh. No, no, this. Guys, over here! Someone's here! Oh, give me a gun. No. I, d I don't know. I'm sure it fits. My brain is just borked at the moment, trying to figure out how not to die. Um. <laughs> Apparently, I don't need to be hiding during this part of my um, running around, which is nice to know. Ray, listen to me very carefully. I'm going to leave work now. Collect Claire, pick up the cat, and head home. We need to find some place safe till secrets okay. in the ship. I saw the guy from down the hall. They come down from here, which means they're up there presently, I think. Don't talk to anyone. Don't tell them where you're going. I'll meet you as soon as I can. Where can I? Where can I go? Where can I go to when they want to shoot me? My hard ones to know. Uh, that I'll try. I somehow don't think I'm gonna make it. She's in the vents! That was an achievement, apparently. Fuck. But now what? Now what do I do? Now I'm in the vents! This isn't a safe place to be. Hi, how are you? It's a safe place if you're air, but this is like the Xenomorph's home.
I am so scared to go back out there. But also, I'm scared to stay in here. Basically, I'm scared to exist because this is alien isolation. <laughs> a painting of a bat black cat leaping at midnight. Um, I made the room darker just for tonight. We are playing some alien isolation. Um, right now, there's a group of meanies that are trying to kill me. They were through there, um, but I ran away. All right. I'm going to go back downstairs. There's a save point at the bottom of the stairs. Shit, 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 shit. Um, um, hello? Yes? I, I'm a hide. Mom, the aliens are being mean. Well, these were humans, but, you know, I don't know their legal status. Maybe they are aliens. This is me waiting. I mean, I feel like if they really are out to find me and kill me, they would come down here, wouldn't they? Someday I'm going to witness a xenomorph kill someone from inside one of these lockers. Their legal status is from the game. You got so tired after so scared at the damn xenomorph's hand moving in front of your face. Uh, if you want him, come claim him. Yeah. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. There were xenomorphs back at the other end of the tram line. Now I'm scared to go downstairs. Hi, yes, I would like to save the game. Yes. What scares me most is that I feel like I'm eventually going to end up with a, a dead save. I don't really know. Do I want the speaker system or the unstable system? Which one do I actually want? Speaker system active. Apparently, I can't activate the unstable system anymore. Yeah, it won't let me switch it now. I can either have speakers on or off, but I can't. Oh, there we go. Unstable system. No idea. Attention, please. Attention, please. The Xenomorphs would like to inform you that they will be taking their union break in 15 minutes. Please prepare for your inevitable demise before they take a fiver. Um. Device invalid, but I have the thing. It's just broken. <laughs> the white phone is for loading and unloading of passengers only. Bing bong. Clean up on aisle three. All right. Um, find a data cell to repair the security access tuner. Lovely. Uh, I guess in the boy she man I am enough. Is the man not to need some butter yet? 
Um, <laughs> this is going to be bad because I think I need to take a tram. Security access, Tuna. Bing bong. <laughs> they are noises. Uh, this is a thing that I do. Um, when I... So... You know, I never really thought about it. It probably has something to do with my ADHD. Um, I don't actually know any other languages well enough to speak them. I... I We'll know a couple of words or phrases here and there, but that's it. Um, when I was younger, I used to uh, whistle. Um, Absent-mindedly, when I was, when my brain would get to the point where I was either concentrating really hard or starting to get overwhelmed with information. And um, that was back when I was in band and played the flute and the oboe and things like that. And so uh, somehow the, the whistling um, happened. And then as I got older <laughs> and sort of stopped that um, and moved uh, started doing choir instead, I would um, randomly start singing uh, lyrics to songs, which I still do. But when I started reading a lot, like reading significantly more than I had in the past, um, like book wise and things like that, somehow it started to be just nonsense syllables. Uh, so. It depends on like what my other activities are. Uh, when I was doing a lot of music, it was whistling and humming. And when I, after I started reading a lot of books, um, it became just syllabic speaking in tongues as my, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, you can't whistle. Neither can my husband. Some people just can't. That is a thing. I boil like a kettle. <laughs> yeah, it is. I I just always thought I was weird. Um, and I haven't really thought about it since my ADHD diagnosis uh, at the beginning of this year. But yeah, it, it that to me seems like it must be. I think I need to go to the engineering platform can't roll your tongue or your R's. Yeah, that is probably all related. I can't roll my R's, um, but I can whistle and I can roll my tongue. Um, yeah, no, I, I knew what you meant. Um, but yeah, it's probably related. Uh, how do you feel about... Um, I don't know which one we came from. How do you feel about cilantro? I'm just curious. Because I think I have heard that uh, the whistling and cilantro might be related. Till it with fire? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's the my extremely limited um, non-scientific study of uh, two individuals <laughs> who um, cannot whistle is that uh, they are also genetically predisposed to not like the taste of cilantro and to think that it tastes like soap. <laughs> You can't roll your R's? Have you tried wearing heels? Oh dear. Yeah, two non-whistlers agree. Cilantro, the devil's armpit. Is this the tra- this is 
not the tram I was on before. I don't think we're going to save whatever I'm doing right now. So I think this is more exploration for 18 months from now when I play this again. But uh, we'll see, because <laughs> I'll probably die without finding another save point. Not everyone aboard the station is aggressive. Yeah, they just get killed by xenomorphs when they're nice to me. <sighs> Try wearing heels. I feel like there's a joke there that I'm not getting. I need the joke explained. I'm not getting it, and I want to. A single leaf fragment can ruin an entire meal. Oh, gosh. Philip's been trying to acclimate himself to it. Apparently, you're supposed to be able to make you to make yourself um, be able to tolerate it by having it in small doses in dishes where it isn't super prevalent. Um, but most of the time it just ruins the dish for him. <laughs> ah, arse. Be right, UK, that makes so much more sense. <laughs> and I didn't get it. Um, thank you so much for explaining because that, that was amazing. It was a really good joke and it, it yes. <laughs> They've started. Okay. Um, well, we're we're we are going to be leaving isolation um, to go explore a different Siegson station that uh, we won't have to be on alone. <laughs> we're going to be heading over to Q Times for. Um, the Streampunks role-playing group uh, and their Aliens RPG actual play. Um, I don't think they're actually on the Siegson station right now, though. Um, I believe they are presently elsewhere, but their home base is a station very much like the one I was just exploring. <laughs> Um, but yeah, thank you so much, everybody, for coming and joining. Um, I had a lot of fun tonight. <laughs> as scary as it was and as little as I accomplished, I, I really enjoyed the atmospheric. Um, you can't follow the raid. Oh, Zen, you should head over there, though. Um... But yes, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Be Right UK, for 1,500 bits and Shadows of Life for 9 bits. Um, and Adventures of Tony for 22 month resubscription. Also, I don't know if you're here, but Wolf Tracks, thank you for the follow earlier. Uh, I saw that come in after um, Stephen Joyce gave me a, a shout out there. Um, there is going to be a raid. I am going to raid over to the Q Times channel. Um, Let me actually, like, initiate. Um, thank you so much to my mods. Uh, if you want to use the raid call, it is hashtag rogue raid. Um, and uh, you can copy paste if you want. Um, those are my dagger emotes. Um, uh, but you can use whatever hello emotes you might want to do and may have with you. Uh, the next time that I will be live, I'm typing while I'm talking to y'all, and it's weird. Um, but I'm trying to beat out. I snoozed an ad that was about to start so we could do the closing. Um, <laughs> thanks, Abyssal. 
<laughs> Those daggers will work fine. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head over. We're gonna watch some Alien after having just um, spent some time in Alien. I hope I put you all in the right mood for tonight's episode. I have no idea what's going on, um, but. <sighs> uh, the next time that I will be live is Wednesday for the Archives stream. Uh, it'll be some materials from the Monacan Indian Nation. Uh, and then Saturday, Ultima 6, Sunday, Mass Effect. And then next Monday, we will be back with Mist 3, something much less creepy, but also creepy. So I hope I see you soon. Until then, get out there and do some shenanigans, y'all.